Hello, I'm Cameron Smith, and today we're going to learn how to terminate fiber. So a couple of things that we should look at before we get into the fiber termination process, and that's the different components we're going to be using to work with the fiber. So the first thing we have here is our duplex fiber. This is a riser rated OM3 multi-mode cable. And when I say duplex, what I mean by that is there's two strands here that we'll be working with. This is the most common fiber that goes into residential and a lot of commercial applications. And you need duplex because then it makes it compatible with both AV and network applications. We'll be terminating one of the two strands today. And then we get into the actual connectors we'll be working with. There's two predominant kinds that you see in AV installations. The SC connector, and that's a little bit bigger, and then the LC connector. Both terminate very uh, similarly, same process. The difference is really, what do your different devices have? Is it SC, is it LC? And then really the different sizes of the fiber connectors themselves. Before we get into the actual termination process, I'll point out the different parts of the connector themselves. The first part is a little boot at the end of the connector. That's what holds the, uh, the connector on the fiber itself. And then we get into the outer shroud, the housing of the connector, and then the connector itself. And there's a couple of different components we'll look at as we go through the termination process. That's what we have, and this is an SC connector. We'll be terminating the SC today. Now we get into the actual termination kit. In the termination kit, there's four main components that come into play. The first component is the most important part. That's the cleaver. The cleaver is what we use to actually cut the fiber. And if you think about glass, you don't take a, a knife or a blade to glass, right? You score it and then you snap it. Fiber is much the same way. We're working with a glass-based cable. The cleaver does that. It scores it, it snaps it, so we have a nice clean break to work with. Then we have the shears. The shears are made for cutting the fiber. And these are special shears because as we go through the actual construction, we'll see that there's Kevlar Aramid yarn in here. That's what gives it its strength. And the shears are made to cut through that Kevlar. We have a wire snip. This is for removing the outer jacket of the fiber itself. And then the final part is our VFL. This is a handy test tool that we'll get into when we're testing the fiber, doing some termination, really making sure we have a good connection. So these are the main four components that come in the termination kits. This whole package is really what we need to get started. And let's go ahead and start that process. So as we get into the actual fiber termination process, there's a couple of things that we go through to uh, really get into terminating. The first thing that we want to do is strip the fiber back. We want to separate those two strands. So again, this is a duplex style zip cord construction um, for the actual fiber itself. Now we're going to be terminating one of the strands here. So what we do is we just separate these two and then we use our wire cutter to remove about two inches of outer jacket. So I'm going to go ahead, snip that, pull off that outer jacket and we see the inside construction on our fiber. So there's a couple of things that you'll see right away. The first is that Aramid yarn that I mentioned, that Kevlar. That's this yellow structure. This is what gives it its strength. So this cable is actually rated for 220 pounds of pull force. So it's a very, very strong cable. And that is because of this Kevlar Aramid yarn inside. It's also got waterproofing uh, gel in there. So it, it makes it ideal for going into environments where there's temperature fluctuations or conduit that's in the ground. Um, very durable uh, cable to work with and definitely a durable mechanism for moving your signals from point A to point B. The next thing is actually working with that fiber strand itself. So you see the single strand, it's uh, it's got a blue color in there. That's actually a soft peel color coating around that fiber optic cable, like that glass cable inside of there. Now the next step of the termination process is removing that soft peel off the cable. And we simply do that with our fingernails. So we go ahead, grab that soft peel and just kind of scrape it with our fingernails. And if you see, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of scraping the fiber, removing that soft peel, that color coating comes off, 
So now we're seeing that translucent inner core of the fiber cable. Now, a couple of things that I should mention here. We're never touching glass. That's one of the nice things about this SSF grade fiber construction. It's safe to handle. So you can see I can actually poke my finger with the, uh, the core, the glass core inside the fiber, and it doesn't penetrate soft tissues. This is something that was a big deal with traditional types of fiber. That glass breaking, shattering, shards getting in the skin, um, Frankly, it's just not safe to handle that way. SSF is different. There's a proprietary polymer coating on the outside of the glass that makes it safe. It also keeps the oils from my fingers of, uh, from getting directly onto that glass. So it's a lot easier to work with than traditional fiber. But now that we've exposed that color coating, we can go ahead and cleave. And to cleave, what we do is we, we take our cleaver, open that up and we simply lay the fiber so lay that core across the cleaver wheel and we measure for these particular connectors that again we're terminating an SC connector we measure from about 28 millimeters from the end of the jacket to the cleaving wheel and on my cleaver here we've actually got a nice little ruler built in so we can actually see what we're doing once we've laid that out we snap the cleaver down, we actually do the, uh, the cleave, and that's it. We just cleaved our fiber, we have a nice clean cut, it's ready to go into the connector. So from here, we simply take the boot from our connector, we put the boot on the cable. And then we can go ahead and take our connector, there's a nice little V-groove that actually shows where I take the fiber and how I kind of lay it into that connector. I go ahead and I slide that fiber into the connector, right into that V-groove. And once I do that, I lock it in place. So there's a nice tab on the connector that locks the fiber into the connector. Now, I like to leave some of the Kevlar, that Aramid yarn, exposed while I'm turning the boot onto the connector. What that does is it gives it strength. So the boot actually grabs the Kevlar, it screws it into the uh, little grooves, and it gives it more strength to keep that uh, connector from coming off. At this point, now that I've given it a couple of tur turns, I can actually cut that off, clean up my fiber connector, finish screwing it into place, and then I can go ahead and put my outer jacket back on. And once I do that, I have a nice, clean, terminated strand of fiber.